Harper. For more on the numbers, we're joined by Steve Volkman of Jefferies. According to Bloomberg data, Steve is one of the most accurate forecasters of the stock. He currently has a buy rating on Deer. Steve, uh, first question, though, the guidance, Deer raising its guidance for 2010. Was the market a bit head faked by uh, the conservativeness of the company's outlook going uh, in the past? Well, I guess you could say it that way. I mean, they've been very focused on inventory reduction, so they've kind of tried to hold people down in terms of their expectations. Uh, but, you know, the bottom line is farmers are actually uh, in pretty good shape here. And, um, you know, I think that's starting to come through, and it's, it's hard to keep holding the numbers down. Steve, what, what is the best advice you can give to investors? I mean, the company's stock seems to trade in tandem with corn and soybean prices. I mean, it, it's a good quarter this quarter, but how do you advise the average person? if you were to do so. Right. Well, I think there are two things going on, and you're exactly right. It tends to trade with crop prices. I actually think that's a good thing. I think crop prices are headed higher from here. You know, if you think about the global crop markets, it's the only thing I can see globally that's running at 100 percent capacity utilization here at the bottom of the cycle. So as things start to come back globally, I think crop prices are going to get even tighter. That's my view of that. So I think that's a good thing. But you also have a very strong execution here with deer, and that's what you're seeing this quarter. You know, it was really a story of cost cutting. You mentioned raw material prices moving in their favor. That's obviously helpful, uh, but they've done a very good job of execution on, you know, fairly low volume here. And so I think that tells you where things are going uh, in the future. Uh, Steve, I want to go back to the guidance for a moment. If the company was conservative in the past, do you think they're being conservative now? Do you think there's, call it, upside to what they're telling us today? Yeah, you know, that's always the risk, is you always want more, right? And, uh, you know, this is a big raise. I mean, they raised from roughly 210 in EPS to about 310. Uh, that's a huge raise. And, you know, there's always a risk in these cyclical markets that people just want more and more. Um, you know, I, I think the, the $3 seems more reasonable to me now. I think it'll be higher next year and again in 2012, is my view. Um, but I sure hope we don't get too far ahead of ourselves too quickly. So, Steve, you mentioned that you're applauding the company cost cuts. We know they reigned in production, particularly North America, South America. Have they done enough? Oh, I think they've done enough. I mean, uh, you know, inventories we can see uh, in several markets, that's public information. Inventories are very low. Uh, deer tends to be a little bit lower even than the overall industry data that we see. They tend to talk about that on their quarterly calls. So, you know, I think that the big difference for these industrial companies in this cycle is that they've worked really quickly to lower these inventories uh, to good levels, and I think we're in, we're in pretty good shape there. Steve, a colleague of mine drew my attention to something I hadn't noticed. Deer is now saying it expects a favorable current translation of 3% versus 1% back in November. How is that possible if the dollar is strengthening? Well, you know, these are global companies, and they have a lot of different uh, moving parts. And, you know, Deer actually uh, imports some things from Europe and sells them here in the U.S. They import some things from Brazil uh, and India even. So there's a lot of moving parts here. You're not talking about a big difference in the currency. Um, and, 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 you know, these things can happen at the margin. Steve, very quickly, we only have about 10 seconds left. The CEO of Deer has only been on the job about a year. How's he doing so far? Uh, so far, so good, I think. I mean, this is not a company where a new guy tends to take a very new tack here. Um, you know, it's basically executing the plan that they've been working on for the last 20 years. He has done a great job of getting out in front of investors, trying to get people to know who he is and how he looks at the world. But, uh, you know, by and large, no major changes.